So Unity 2020 with Visual Studio Code. It's one of those things that should work, but always seems to give me problems. Specifically, my problem is that it seems to have trouble loading just the game's initial project. And you'll see this in the output of OmniSharp here. Um, it's going to attempt to load, and then it's just going to say, failed to load all these projects. And it's going to say, attempted to update a project that is not loaded. So you'll probably just see these errors, but if you scroll up, you'll see there's actually a little hint as to what you should do. That hint is right here. This project targets a .NET version that requires reference assemblies that do not ship with OmniSharp out of the box. The most common solution is to make sure Mono is installed on your machine, blah, blah, blah. And that OmniSharp is started with that Mono installation. Example, OmniSharp use global Mono always in C Sharp extension for VS Code. So basically, I have regular Visual Studio for Mac already installed and up to date. So I knew that Mono was already installed. And of course, I kind of needed this to work with Unity anyway. So what I did was I came over to my extensions, came to the C Sharp extension here, and I went to extension settings. And I searched for the keyword use global mono here. And you'll see OmniSharp use global mono by default for some reason on Mac OS is set to auto. As you can see, auto is the default. So you just come over here, change it to always. And then a little pop up is going to pop up over here saying, uh, would you like to restart OmniSharp server with your changes? I'm going to click restart OmniSharp server. And then boom, we've got all these queues. It's doing its thing. All these projects are loading successfully and being added to the list. Okay, and as you can see, when it's done, now we've got IntelliSense in our project here. You can see we've got our references here. If I start typing over here, let's say game object dot, you can see I get suggestions, I get autocomplete, everything's working. And I'd say this is going to work a lot better than regular Visual Studio for Mac, which has a nasty habit of freezing after long periods of time. So, cheers!